guys welcome back to my channel so i just finished watching the first episode of ahsoka and i am not disappointed you guys i am definitely very much intrigued and interested so first of all my reaction will be under my youtube memberships if you are not a member over there i suggest you go over there and check that out and become a member today i've got two level levels of memberships over there level one is for 2.99 and you get priority replies for me special polls and at some point i'm going to start doing live streams level two is for 4.99 and you get everything that level one has plus you get all of my reactions to all the shows i watch any movies i watch and all of my uncut try not to laughs so go over there and check that out also before i get into this make sure that you hit that like button subscribe and share and make sure you hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever i pop up on your feed so so ahsoka is after this map that is trying to get her to um this emperor i think he's an emperor if i'm not mistaken i i even took down notes y'all because i didn't want to miss a thing this guy named Thrawn. So it's kind of cool because it starts off just like the Star Wars movies. You know, you get the whole blurb and everything about what she's there for. Um, And so her mission is to get to this map so she can find out where this guy Thrawn is. Now Thrawn is believed to have been killed um, and gone after the clone wars but apparently he's not i think i got that right he's not so <clears throat> this guy um balin and his apprentice um go to one of their ships to go get this prisoner whose name is morgan now morgan is i don't know if she's a witch but she's a survivor as she states later on and he goes to bail her out and they kill the captain and they're just kind of getting into fights with everybody and he comes in and he's got the force okay he's got the force and she's just you can tell she's like his right hand like she seems to already be like the hothead who will do anything you know what i mean like one of those she seems really really evil so they get her out and now um they're walking off him and morgan balen and morgan and she says ahsoka's name she's like ahsoka's after the map so she and morgan knows something um about the past uh, something that holds the key or something that this map holds the key to right so um, so Ahsoka is seen in this place where she's trying to find this map and this map is a sphere and uh, a sphere, sorry. Um, and she's in this place where she sees like these different carvings on the wall and each one has to be unlocked in order for her, her to get this. So eventually she does get it. She takes it. Then she gets into this fight with all these androids. Um, so she runs off and <clears throat> when she's in her ship, they tell her that something's happening. So she ends up going to, I guess, her headquarters. And they tell her everything that happened and that her prisoner. So Morgan, the prisoner that escaped, is Ahsoka's prisoner. So the girl who's briefing her, she's a general. And she's basically, you know, talking to her about what happened and everything. And she's like, well, I got the spear. Um, and so the map apparently holds the last location of the missing admiral who kind of is not missing. And there's this guy named Ezra who apparently passed away as well. And he is, I guess, a brother like to, um, Sabine Wren. So later on we find out who Sabine is, but before that, um, Apparently, the prisoner, Morgan, she was an ally to Thrawn. And she apparently is after this map, and they think that he's still alive, right? So anyway, 
she gets the spear and then she goes off. So while she's there, uh, the general is telling her, you know that there's one person that can help you unlock this and it's Sabine Wren. So Sabine seems like this rebel who is just off to do her own thing and she doesn't listen to anybody. So, excuse me. I'm trying to make sure that I don't miss anything. So, Balin is talking to Morgan and Morgan wants to get to Ahsoka but she wants to find Sabine, Sabine Wren first. So she sends the guy's apprentice to go find Sabine. And I'm assuming because she knows that Sabine is the one who can unlock it, she wants to get to her first. That's what I'm assuming. I'm not sure if that was the case. But when um, she goes to find her, and in the midst of that, Ahsoka goes to meet up with the, I guess he's another captain too. There's another place where Sabine resides and they get there and they're having a conversation and Sabine walks up and they clearly have some tension. Something's going on, but we don't know what it is until later. So apparently Sabine wanted to be a Jedi and Ahsoka was her um her master because they're talking across the way from each other when she's talking to her about unlocking the spear and so they're talking to each other and I guess what happened was Ahsoka walked away um and she wanted to be a Jedi and it didn't happen right and that was that's like the underlying tension between them and when they're talking um when as they're talking, well, initially when she asks her to unlock the, the map, she tells her, I think I have a way of finding out about Ezra. And that immediately caught her attention. So after that, they were talking, and that's when we found out that she was her master. Ah Ahsoka was her master. She wanted to be a Jedi, and it just didn't work out that way. So I guess Sabine seems to be the type that doesn't listen. She wants to do things her own way. Because it's been a couple of times where, not a couple of times, but it was a time or two where Ahsoka said, why do things have to be so difficult? And so when she's talking to the general and the general is talking to her about, you know, Sabine being hard to deal with and stuff, she was like, well, at one point, I'm sure your master, she's talking to Ahsoka at this point. She's like, I'm sure your master felt like you were hard to deal with. And her master was Anakin. And she was like, you know, Anakin never got a chance to finish my training after the Clone Wars. He walked away from me. And then the general was like, just like you walked away from Sabine. So that's the tension right there is that they never finished their training. And Sabine is upset with her because she really wanted to be a Jedi. So Sabine wants to know if Ezra is still alive. And... I guess Ahsoka feels like he may be, but there's no guarantee to that. They just need to get, to, I guess, to find out if this guy Thrawn is still alive. So Sabine ends up disappearing with the map after Ahsoka told her not to, which clearly tells us that Sabine is this walking to the beat of her own drum, doesn't listen to anybody type of person, type of character, right? So she gets home and because she's clearly probably the only person that can unlock it. She's sitting there trying to figure it out because she wants to know if Ezra is still alive. So she's unlocking it. But in the meantime, she gets tracked when she leaves with the sphere and she gets tracked by Balin's apprentice. So they end up finding her and the sphere. They end up stealing it. They get into a fight. Um, and, um, the apprentice ends up like stabbing her with the lightsaber while Ahsoka is running towards her trying to get there on time and she just missed her. So at this point, she's gone. We don't know if Sabine is still alive. I think she still is alive, um, but the apprentice now has the map. 
right has the map but sabine is was planning on going on a trip because she unlocked it so she saw what what it was and she went outside to go look so she knows she knows the location of where whatever that shining light was at so now it's a matter of getting to this map again and getting to the destination so i'm assuming in the next episode we're gonna figure out what's what but i was completely intrigued by this episode i really really was so i definitely can't wait to see the next one if you guys watched it leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think um, or if you haven't seen it yet and you're watching it tomorrow, come back here and let me know what you guys think as well. But again, my reaction will be under my YouTube memberships. And if you guys don't know how that works, I put a timer on the corner because of course I can't play the actual content. When I press play, you guys press play and we're going to watch it together. That way you guys get my live reaction. It's almost like we're watching it at the same time so leave your comments down below let me know if you enjoyed my review and if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel hit like share and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever i pop up on your feed i'll see you guys later toodles